just a note about the gospel before I get into the first reading. Um, now that we pass the first week of, Le- of Easter, we're going to be looking at different, uh, how the scripture speaks about the different sacraments. So we start with baptism, remembering um, how we were born of water and the spirit and we were given divine life. So pay attention to that over the next uh, weeks as we see, okay, we're talking about this and the Eucharist and how God is moving in these ways. Uh, In the first reading today in the Acts of the Apostles, this is a continuation from what we were hearing last week. Uh, You remember that uh, there was a day uh, where we heard about how Peter and John were in the temple area and they see this lame man and they say, uh, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise and walk. And he goes walking and leaping and praising God. Uh, And then they speak to the people and then, well... The Sadducees didn't particularly like that, and so they brought them before them, and so they, they were in jail for a night, and then um, they gave him a scolding. Don't do that anymore. So now, here we get after that. After the release of Peter and John, they went back to their own people, reported what had happened. Now, they go along and say, okay, they start praying to God. This is the first thing that they did. So they're saying, okay, now we've got to pray to God for the strength to be able to continue on, and they are quoting Psalm 2. Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand against the Lord and against His anointed. And they're applying that to them and how the people are standing against them. And they go along and they're praying and they're praying and praying and what happens? As they prayed, where they gathered, shook. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, they've had Pentecost already, right? They were all filled with the Holy Spirit already. Just... This is chapter 4, that happened in chapter 2. We're not that far removed. And yet, it's not a one and done thing. We continue to need a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And so they continue to speak the word of God with boldness. And I can see in all this, what has happened. God got them through this traumatic time of being arrested, being brought before uh, their leaders, which, you know, we heard in this past Sunday's gospel that what happened they they were in the door in the upper room with the doors locked for fear of the Jews that they're afraid they've been afraid now the Holy Spirit comes upon them they go out boldly they do incredible things but then what could have happened even though God got them through this then as they're reflecting back they might have then started to allow fear to enter in well I don't want that to, even though God got me through, I don't want that to happen again. So they might have pulled back. They might have not given everything as they were before. But what did they do? No, they said, we're going to look to Almighty God and ask Him for that help, for the courage that we need to continue doing what we're called to do. And we heard them quote the beginning of Psalm 2, and so Psalm 2 was our our responsorial psalm. And what is it? What is it? That, okay, all, everyone is against them, but what happens? The one who is in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. He says, you know what? I'm bigger than all of you. I myself have set up my, my king on Mount Zion. The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I've begotten you. And they're reminding themselves, this is what God is doing in our midst. And I was thinking about this in my own life, you know, how often God has gotten me through some very difficult times. But then afterwards, then afterwards, even though God got me through and He gave me courage and what I, the wisdom I needed at the time, then I'm afraid, well, ah, I don't want to have to go through that again. And the Lord says, but, but come back to me. Surrender your fears to me. Put them down before my feet. Allow me to fill you again with an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to give you the strength, the courage that you need to step forward and do what you know is right. What are the areas in our lives where we've allowed fear to enter in? Where we've allowed... Uh, the hurt of the past to then color how we act in the future. This is an opportunity 
for us to place it before Almighty God. Say, here, Lord, renew me in your spirit. Give me the courage, the strength, the wisdom that I need in order to follow you unreservedly, to give my whole self to you, that I may not be afraid to do what you ask me to do, to step out in faith, to go where you lead me, Lord. 